people in raining one, y'all. There will be times when you ride when the conditions aren't ideal. And that was definitely the case as I got ready to take the ride to Huntsville, Alabama. It was colder than the polar bear's living quarters and the rain was off and on like a toddler flicking the light switch. Nevertheless, we had to push. We cruised along the highways, zipping past a few cars and trucks that sprinkled the roads ahead. The muted skies featured no sun like a girl dad and the forest and grass were resuscitated from an amount of water that they drank. It was a smooth ride, almost smoother than my dad's Cadillac, but I said almost because the stock Harley shocks vibrated every minute bump in the road. What up, people? That gas stop, I need to better now I think about it. Got a gas stop waiting on a few more people to show up, and you know, as I always think on people, people. At the next gas stop, we met up with the Queens of the South Motorcycle Club. We greeted each other, and soon, we would be continuing the route to Huntsville. So we hopped back on the highway at warp speed like the Starship Enterprise, and we were in sync, no Backstreet Boys. The pace was picked up more as bigger storms were starting to form. And as we picked up in elevation, drops slowly fell down but didn't do too much damage. Our rain gear and heater gear acted as armor like jousting knights, and it held up just fine. After pulling into the hotel, I would change shower and then find me a bite to eat. What's up, what's up, what's up? Your boy is going ahead to get something to eat. I'm hungry and it is freezing out here. It is freezing. Freezing cold. Wet. And I don't, fun fact, I don't eat meat, so I'm gonna get me a veggie pizza from this spot I always go. I, I come to Huntsville three times. This is my third year in a row coming to Huntsville, and I always go and grab me a pizza from over here. Oh, Alright man, so look, we in a host hotel. The brothers are getting ready. They get ready to set up, you know what I'm saying? The meet and greet is gonna be here. We out here in Huntsville. What's up? How you doing, my brother? We got high, look, we got high ride in the building, you feel what's me? What's happening? The man, the, the Mr. Legend. That, that, that's him right there, you know what I'm saying? Look, you see, look. You, you see, you see where that man blacked out, look. We on the ground, man. On the ground, look. Hey, that's what we do. That we ride. Do. That we yeah. do. Okay, I got a question for you real quick. All right. What's, what's one thing that somebody got to do if they want to be a part of Red Bull? You just got to get on the ground. Ooh, wait, wait. Everybody not familiar with getting on the ground. What would that you mean? You gotta ride your motorcycle. You gotta ride your motorcycle. And you heard, and you gotta ride your motorcycle. Situations like this. Yeah. Plugged in. Plug. Hey. Look. You need good gear. Look. You know you can't just be a weekend warrior. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna just get out there. You gotta have good quality stuff. Cause if you gonna ride a lot, you need good, good, good gear. Man. Yeah. That's, that's and what kind of gear you got on? This, this is the Harley heated suit. They don't make these anymore, but this is this a relic. Exclusive. Yeah, yeah, this is a relic. Harley Exclusive. heated suit. Yeah. You, you, with the chipper walls. With the chipper wall, you know? Waterproof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waterproof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, with the exclusive, you know what I'm saying? You might find it on eBay. Might, <laughs> might. You might. Know what I'm if you're lucky. <laughs> if you're lucky. He working, boy. Go on, plug yourself, man. Go on, plug yourself. Everybody know me by Cheerio. Ground pounder extraordinaire. Yes, indeed. Hey, I love this shit, man. They got to be in you. Yeah. Yeah. You do it all, y'all. What, what you doing? I say I decided since I wasn't doing that, it was a nice little rainy Friday. Yeah. I figured I'd come on down and hang out man, with a couple of celebrities. <laughs> man, if y'all don't know, man, we got Big Cell, F-H-O, Fast Harley's Only, H-N-I-C, you know what I'm saying. So what's going on, man? How was your ride? I know you call it. You, oh, you. Cold and rainy. <laughs> Cold and rainy, but when you're on the ground, it's to be expected, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting my new podcast on the passenger seat. Okay. So I definitely want to fuck with y'all. Listen, I see, I, I, I saw that. I, I want to say it was today. Yeah, I posted it you last posted night. You posted it today? Yeah. Okay, all right. Passenger so seat. if y'all if y'all not already, man, Fast All is on FHO Atlanta GA is my man's podcast. 
talks all things motorcycle. You can learn a lot. I learned a lot from this dude right here. Go ahead and check it out, FHO Atlanta G8. You know what I'm hey saying? Hey man, listen, if you gotta find somebody to pass the torch to, you can't do that. Hey man, listen. Run your motor, not your mouth. At all. At all. So what you tell the people who say it's too cold uh, to, to ride their bike? It is. <laughs> Walking around the host hotel, I checked out a few bikes, and one that stood out was the memorial for our fallen brother, Cold Blue. I talked and caught up with a few bros who were just making it in from their own perspective rides, and we hung out all evening in the host hotel lobby. The next day featured the day party at Redstone Harley Davidson. It was packed like a twin bed when all your friends come over to play. And there were a bunch of vendors, games, and other activities for people to participate in. And I wish I could have showed it, and I wish I could have showed you all, and I wish I could have showed you it all, but my SD card was more corrupted than the mafia. Later on in the evening, we would meet up to begin our ride to Rare Breed Motorcycle Club Huntsville, the Rocket City annual party. We pulled out of the parking lot and headed towards the interstate, slowly falling into formation like Tetris. And as we unmounted from our bikes, we started our ascent into the convention center. And we had brothers from all over converge on this one location to celebrate and best believe we celebrated until the night. On It's cold out here. Yeah, man. You know when these jokers on red, you know when it's on red, it's something serious. This morning, even though the sun rose above like Barkley going in for a slam, the air was holding me hostage. This had been up to this point the absolute coldest I had ever rode my bike in. And my bro was getting in as well. We pulled over to change, update, and upgrade our gear. The clash between the cold and the warmth from the sun left a hazy like thickness in the air. Each one of them fighting for supremacy. But the cold was definitely winning. Luckily at this point, the sun was starting to peak and I knew that with only a few hours left to ride home, I could bear it. It's freezing out here. It's about, it's 26 degrees when we pulled out. 
and now i mean with the wind chill and everything is a problem it's probably about more or less 19 degrees man it's cold it's warming up but it's still cold <laughs> And as with any of my rides that feature another biker, there's always that break point, that moment where you become just one on the highway. And it's always a somewhat emotional experience. Watching as my brother drips away in the distance allows me to appreciate the time that we had together. And with two hours left, I breeze through the remaining states into eastern Louisiana. And a sense of cover hovers around me like grandma in the kitchen cooking up a favorite dish. Yes, indeed. Last gas stop, people. Peace. And crossing my final bridge toward home, I reflect on another successful ride and I have this thought. There will always be cold as there is warmth. Life is about yin and yang. And we need both sides to be whole. How can we appreciate warmth if we don't know what it is to be cold? How can we appreciate money if we don't know what it is to be broke? And how can we appreciate life if we haven't seen tragedy? And I hope you appreciated this video. And if you could, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Peace.